In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Pasco Capstone software to be able to record position time data using a motion sensor. And so you will find the icon for Pasco Capstone on the desktop of any of the physics laptops. Once you have that um, open, you will see this particular screen as your home screen. This allows me to decide what type of displays I want to see. So in this particular case, I want to see a data table and a graph. And so that pops up here. Now, I want to create position time data. So if I select, say I want position here, notice it doesn't say position. It doesn't say it because I haven't told it what I have connected to the computer. So what I have to do now is go over to the left and select hardware setup. Once I select hardware setup, I see a picture of my black box. In this case, a Science Workshop 750. The 850 will look slightly different. And I have a motion detector that I'm going to attach. And when I look at the motion detector, the plugs are stereo plugs. And there are two of them. One's yellow, one's black. I'm going to plug those into one and two. So I'm going to simply click on slot number one. And I get a list of all the different types of detectors that are potentially available to us. And as I scroll down, I will see motion sensor two. And so that is my motion sensor. So I will click on that. It will show a picture of the motion sensor with the yellow plug going into one and the black plug going into two. So that's how you know you're in the right spot. Notice, okay, so we are done with this. So notice that there is no X, there's this pin. Don't click that pin. To close this window, you click on hardware setup again. Now I'm ready to set up my graph. So I want a position time graph. So now I select the vertical axis and position is now available. Notice that velocity and other things are available as well. So position is available and it automatically selects time. If you're running an experiment that doesn't depend upon time, you can change this, but we're doing a position time graph. And I can do something similar up here. Let's say I want position is, is my X, uh, or sorry, time is my X, position is my Y. So I'll get um, numerical data instead of graphical data there. So now I'm ready to run an experiment. So for example, I'm going to just hold my hand in front of the motion sensor and I'm going to go down to the left here where it says record and simply hit record. I'm not moving my hand right now, so nothing's happening. If I try to move my hand at a constant velocity and then stop, that's not too bad. All right, so here we can see constant velocity not moving. We have some sort of slope, it's almost a straight line, and we have another straight line here. So I have all this, I have all this data. Uh, the tabular data is all available here, so I could use that to calculate my velocity time. Um, I could calculate velocity over time based upon this. Uh, looks like I'm not moving here and here, so the slope is zero, that's wonderful. I can also, use the tools on the graph to calculate the slope. So if I click on this pencil with the three dot tool, I can place it over and make it size to where I think that line looks the straightest. Now about there, all right? And so I have that portion of my line highlighted. Now I'm going to go, here's the line tool. The line tool is actually already highlighted, but nothing's showing. So I need to click this down arrow and say, I want a line, so linear. So I did that, now I click somewhere else so I can see what I did. Let's say, and this actually moves so I can take it off of my graph. And so what is it showing? It's showing the slope of my line right here is 0 0.018, and that's meters per second. It also gives me an intercept, which is, does not have a lot of meaning in this example. All right, so that is how you collect data. Now, let's say I'm gonna put a cart on my on the, the track instead of my hand and i don't have to delete this there's a button down here where i can delete this data if i don't want it but when i hit record notice the car's not moving and it started a new screen now i let go of the car and it goes down the hill and i stopped it at the end so that's why you see it not moving 
at the end. Okay, I don't really want this linear line anymore, so I'm just going to highlight it and actually unclick the, the line right there. All right, so now I can now you can see that I don't have a straight line, so that's why I don't want a straight line. So to process this data, you're going to want to take this tabular data and manipulate it uh, in a different program, a spreadsheet program or something like that. We can also do other manipulations on here. You can change things. So you can change this to say velocity and see what happens. I'm going to change it back to position. And then there's actually another interesting thing. There's a quick calc. And this is something we'll be doing frequently where I don't have a straight line. I want to try to make it a straight line. So I can try any of these things. So if I hit square, well, okay, now I have m squared versus s that didn't help me all right so let's you know i doubt x3 will do much um we're not going to do square root too much but let's try reciprocal and yeah, that's still a curved line so changing those didn't help me so i'm going to put that back to where i started and then i can do the same thing same thing down here different types of quick calcs but i will let you figure that out on your own